Our brain is an extraordinary instrument, composed of billions of neurons constantly communicating with each other. In some tasks, it can still outperform the most advanced supercomputers. However, in some cases, the brain can no longer communicate effectively with the rest of our body. Think of patients uh, affected by paralysis, spinal cord injury, or locked-in syndrome, for instance. In these cases, we need a way to extract information directly from the brain uh, through a system that can record and interpret neural data. Such systems are called the brain-machine interfaces and have been a highly researched topic in the last uh, decades. Nevertheless, uh, several challenges and difficult choices are met when designing an uh, interface that reliably gathers data from the brain. For example, using uh, invasive implantable devices over non-invasive ones would uh, provide a much higher data resolution, but at the cost of a del delicate surgical procedures and also uh, at the same time a constant decay in performances over time due to the formation of scar tissue around the probe. Having that in mind, the Engini project was born with the following vision, to create a highly scalable array of uh, independent implantable devices. Uh, each of them will be small enough to minimize the unwanted uh, tissue response and at the same time will be wirelessly connected to an external power source uh, so to avoid wires coming through the skin which usually are a major source of uh, infection. Because these devices are actually implanted inside the skull it is essential that they remain functional over a long period of time. Uh, in this way we can minimize the need for uh, further surgical procedures and improving a lot the quality of life of the patients. My work uh, focuses mainly on such aspects, the long-term availability of these devices. Uh, I ask myself questions like uh, what measures can be taken in order to keep uh, these uh, micro implants functional or uh, how can we monitor their working status over time. Uh, our answer is to combine the extreme miniaturization of the standard microelectronics fabrication processes with our own in-house custom assembly methods. In this way, we will be able to deliver a fully biocompatible and chronically stable probe uh, with a minimal impact on the surrounding tissue. To achieve your goals, it is always important to consider the environment you're working in, especially if you're talking about the human body, which is uh, quite hostile uh, for standard electronics. To create a, a probe, an implant, that is able to positively integrate inside the brain uh, will be not only a huge step forward in the field of uh, neural interfaces, but possibly also the new hope that many people are waiting for.